Number 10, Cockroaches. It shouldn't come as a surprise that these tiny little bugs would make it to this list. Cockroaches are famous for their tenacity, and are often cited as the most likely survivors of a nuclear war. Some even claim that they can live without their heads. Well surprise, they can live without their heads. In fact, they can go on living for weeks. To understand how these bugs can survive decapitation, first we must understand how we fragile humans couldn't. First of all, humans bleed, and when a man's head comes off, he bleeds a lot. Cockroaches doesn't have that problem though. They have an open circulatory system, which translates to little to no blood pressure. So, if their head's lopped off, the wound just closes naturally due to clotting. And secondly, and probably obviously, human heads hold quite a bit important part of our body, our brain, and without it, humans will not function. Eating, drinking, and breathing are all impossible without the head. Cockroaches, on the other hand, don't need their heads to breath, as they do this process through little holes located on their bodies, called spiracles. Although a headless cockroach will die of starvation eventually, it will take weeks for them to do so. Number 9, Bees. This might sound like a cop out to you. No, bees die and they stay dead. However, there is a reason why they appear on this list, because even though a bee might be dead, it can still sting you. Not in the way you think of course. Dead bees obviously go fly around and actively sting you, it's that their stinging parts, and more importantly, their venom delivery system, will still work even if the bee is long dead. When a bee stings, the sting detaches from its body, leaving it embedded into the skin of its victim. Attached to the stinger is a tiny organ that both contains the bee venom, and a tiny muscle that pumps the venom out. Due to the simple physiology of bees, these actions are not controlled by the bee's simple brain, but rather by involuntary impulses. So, if you think that you're safe picking up a dead bee, think again. Number 8, Chickens. There is truth to the expression running around like a headless chicken after all. Yes, ask any farmer and they will tell you, chickens can still run around with their heads cut off, and there is a very simple reason for this, and it's not because chickens are zombies. No, the reason is, believe it or not, human error. A butcher's error to be more specific. You see, a chicken's central nervous system is very different from us humans. Some basic bodily functions are controlled not by the brain itself, but by certain parts of the brain stem. So what does this all mean? Well, if a butcher chops a chicken's head to high, most of the time it's just the forebrain of the chicken that comes off with its head, leaving the brain stem and the cerebellum quite intact. In fact, if the butcher also misses the jugular, not only will the chicken continue to move, it sometimes can still breath. Of course, it will eventually starve to death but there is one special case that a chicken survived 18 whole months without its head. Number 7, Octopus. I'm pretty sure that you've seen videos online where an octopus, after being chopped up, continues to move. In fact, in certain Asian countries, eating fresh octopus is a deadly delicacy. It's not really the octopus that survive after being chopped up, but rather their eight wily arms that continue to move about. And it's these eight arms that usually get stuck in someone's throat, resulting into a very bad day. The reason why octopus arms maintain mobility even after being chopped off is quite fascinating. It's because their central nervous system is quite unique. Most of an octopus's nerve cells, two-thirds of them in fact, can be found, not in the brain where you would expect them to be, but rather in its tentacles. And these arms can continue reacting to stimuli even after they are no longer connected to the main brain. In fact, they remain responsive even after the octopus has been long dead and the arms severed. Researchers in St. George's University in London conducted an extensive experiment on this phenomenon. Number 6, Salamander. If you are gonna come up with a list of animals that stubbornly continues to live, you will be hard pressed not to include the salamander. This animal has always been synonymous to long life and immortality, it's even been reviewed by people who believe in magic, believing that the amazing ability for it to regenerate its body part is considered paranormal. 
Salamanders have the uncanny ability to regenerate any part of its body that has been chopped off. More amazingly these regrown parts actually function the same as or in some cases even better than the original parts. This is mainly because of special protein found in salamanders which facilitates the replication of cells. This protein can also be found in humans but in smaller quantities and they help us heal from our wounds. So does this means we can also be able to regenerate several limbs? Oh we are not quite there yet but scientists are continuously studying salamanders and how their unique abilities can benefit humans in the future. Number 5, Frogs. It has been discovered that frogs continue to move around even when they are brain dead or to put it more accurately with its brain missing. This experiment was brought about when scientists discovered reports of various headless animals continuously to move about and it's very impressive on its own but let's face it, there is only so much what a creature can do without its head. But what happens when you remove the frog's brain but leaves its body intact well thanks to the let's chop out its brain and see what the hell happens reproach by neurologist David Fariel in 19th century we can tell you that a headed but brainless frog actually behaves very similarly to a frog with its brain matter perfectly intact and if you turn the frog upside down, it will rise itself back up. Number 4, Flies. Flies can survive freezing temperature and go into some kind of animation, this amazing ability to survive freezing temperatures is not why the humble fly makes it to this list. Female flies will live for several days after they have been decapitated, and they can do and engage in reflex actions such as flying and under duress, walking, that's right, chop off a female fly's head and not much changes really. If anything, it sort of try to make the fly more human-like. Number 3, Turtles. The hearts of fish, reptiles, birds and mammals have like their own pacemaker cells, they tick over when the signals of their brain stem are not coming through for some reason which ensures that their hearts still function for a while even when the brain does not. These animals can die for a very long time, how long? Well try 5000 hours in the case of the loggerhead sea turtle, yeah you heard that right. That was a 5 and 3 zeros and they survive that long by on what oxygen they can take from the water through their skin, throat and so on, as well as their body has amazing potential for producing energy without oxygen. Their hearts has their own fuel sack and they won't give up until their last fuel sack has been used up. Number 2, Snakes. Chopping these things heads off may seem like a peaceful way to avoid being bitten but the truth is that that may not be the case. A snake's head, a vessel for its fangs and deadly poisons sacks still has the ability to bite you and deliver deadly venom even if it's no longer attached with the rest of its body. Snakes detect each signature with its head and if you are close enough to the head of the snake that has been cut off, it can still sting you and deliver deadly venoms that can kill you. These heat-sensitive pits are capable of detecting threats for hours even after its death which means the snake can defend itself even in death, zombie style, and yes this applies too if the body is no longer attached. Number 1, Flatworms. Are you familiar with the old wise tale about how earthworms reproduce? It is said that if you cut an earthworm in half, two earthworm would be reproduced. Might not be true but if you compare that theory with the flatworm then the results might be really disturbing. Flatworms are masters of regeneration, they can rebuild any part of their bodies after amputation. If one is cut in half the then the head portion grows a tail and the tail portion grows a head. Cut it into 20 places and 20 new worms are created as a perfect replica of the original. This has been exploited by university scientists who have created a colony of more than 20,000 worms and guess what, they are all from one original whose body and organs do not appear to age. Which deathless animal was your favorite? Let's us know in the comment section below.